While autism is on the rise, a new study released by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention shows that more kids are being diagnosed with the condition. So are there more autistic children or are they just being labeled with autism? News 11 went to Schreiber Pediatric Rehab Center to find out. From an early age, Lucas's mother knew there was something unique about her son. Lining up cars, lining up his toys, dinosaurs were grouped into different groups. Lucas is just one of the nearly 730,000 children living with autism. The CDC says one in 50 kids in the U.S. has autism, up from previous reports of one in 88. I wouldn't say this surprised me too much. There's definitely an increase. We know that it's been increasing every time we reevaluate those numbers. And that number number could go up. Last year, the American Psychiatric Association changed the definition of autism to cover a broader spectrum. Kids who were not sure they're ever going to be able to care for themselves to kids that just have some mild social awkwardness uh, that may not know how to hold, behave in public. Many places are reaching out to autistic children. On the first Tuesday of every month, the North Museum offers a sensory friendly event that puts kids and parents at ease. They like going there and not having that judgment because you know everybody else that's there is kind of in the same boat. It's all part of the mission to raise awareness. We just need to offer up a little grace to everybody, you know, to the kids that they might have had a really rough day. Maybe they're not autistic, maybe they had a really rough day, but maybe they are, and every day is like this. This acceptance is just one piece of the puzzle that could make living with autism easier.